offers amazing all-new infotainment and sound systems, while a new generation of Audi Connect makes it a leader in connectivity and technology. Nothing demonstrates this better than the beautifully implemented available virtual cockpit. The virtual cockpit is an innovative fully digital instrument cluster with a large 12.3-inch display that delivers vibrant color and a speedy 60 frames per second thanks to the NVIDIA quad-core processor. Classic mode offers a crisp and clear view of the traditional speedometer and tachometer, while infotainment mode minimizes the classic gauges in favor of navigation and other visuals. The Q7's MMI infotainment system introduces a large glass touch surface with haptic button-like feedback. The touchpad allows the driver or passenger to write, pinch to zoom, or scroll the screen for ease of use not found on another system. Handwriting recognition eliminates cumbersome character selection, while new voice recognition allows for the use of natural language to make a selection. Questions like, where's the closest Audi dealership, bring back the intended result. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay integration is available in the new Q7 as well. Simply plug in and the MMI becomes an extension of your compatible phone's connected capabilities. The new 3D sound systems available in the Q7 set a new benchmark for luxury vehicles as they exploit the spatial dimensions of the vehicle, filling the cabin with sound as if heard right on the stage. The available Bang & Olufsen system integrates 23 speakers throughout and delivers 1920 watts of sound. A new generation of Audi Connect comes to the Q7, adding numerous new features. Wi-Fi hotspot capability is offered with integrated 4G LTE. Owners can now use their compatible smartphones to lock and unlock doors and view vehicle status. The app can also set valet, geofencing, and speed alerts to notify you of unexpected or unauthorized vehicle use. Apps are available for select smartwatches which allow control of Audi Connect right from your wrist. These are just some of the 35 services the new generation of Audi Connect offers, and it's easy to see why the new Q7 is a leader in connectivity and technology. The available Audi traffic sign recognition feature can identify certain traffic signage within the camera's field of view. The camera is located on the backside of the rear view mirror. System availability may be limited due to poor visibility, snow, rain, sun glare, or by anything that might impede the camera's field of view. To access traffic sign recognition, open the Vehicle Functions tab in the instrument cluster using the arrow button on the steering wheel. Scroll down to the traffic signs display. The system can now display recognized signs in the instrument cluster as well as in the heads-up display if activated. Up to three traffic signs can be displayed in the instrument cluster at once. Recognizable symbols that indicate speed limits in school zones, highways, construction zones, or at night may be displayed. If a school zone is detected and Adaptive Cruise Assist is engaged, the Adaptive Cruise Assist will automatically adjust to the appropriate speed if enabled. To enable, press the Driver Assistance button, then go to Settings, Adaptive Cruise Assist, and Predictive Control. Set the speed limit to ON. If activated, a speed warning will appear when a speed threshold is reached. To set a speed threshold, press the Driver Assistance button. Select Settings, and then Speed Warning. Choose the desired warning threshold. Once a speed warning is active, the sign recognition system will identify the speed limit using the signs posted. If the threshold is exceeded, the currently detected speed limit will be displayed with an exclamation point and will flash briefly. To turn the system on or off, press the heads-up display icon. Then, in display contents, touch the arrow on the right. From here, you can disable traffic sign recognition. The available lane departure warning can help the driver keep the vehicle in its intended driving lane at speeds above approximately 40 miles per hour. An onboard camera can detect solid and dashed lane lines and monitor the track that the car is following between them. When enabled, the steering wheel will vibrate and correct direction slightly if the vehicle approaches a line without the turn signal being activated. If a turn signal is activated, lane guidance will not intervene 
unless Side Assist detects a car in the vehicle's blind spot. Lane departure warning is on when the lane departure icon is visible below the speedometer. It can be turned on and off by pressing the lane departure warning button in the lower display. Lane guidance works in conjunction with other available features, such as adaptive cruise assist, and is independent of lane departure warning. Adaptive Cruise Assist must be active for lane guidance to function. Activate or deactivate lane guidance by pressing the button on the end of the turn signal stalk. While active, lane guidance provides steering input to assist with keeping the vehicle in the center of the lane, within the limits of the system's abilities. Adaptive Cruise Assist is one of the key elements of the Audi Driver Assist features and helps maintain a distance from a vehicle driving ahead, braking and accelerating as necessary. On open roads with no traffic, Adaptive Cruise Assist functions the same as standard cruise control. When approaching a vehicle driving ahead, the Adaptive Cruise Assist automatically maintains a preset distance within the limitations of the system. To set the distance from the vehicle ahead, tap the rocker switch on the lever. The currently selected distance appears in the instrument cluster while in the driver assistance display or below the speedometer when not in the driver assistance display. To increase or decrease the distance in increments, tap the rocker switch up or down. The greater the speed, the greater the distance necessary for safety. There are five distance settings indicated by bars in the display. The more bars, the greater the distance. Distance is determined by the time interval between the vehicles and can vary depending on vehicle speed. In stop-and-go traffic, if a vehicle ahead comes to a stop, the Adaptive Cruise Assist is designed to automatically brake and remain at a stop. The Ready to Drive message must be active for Adaptive Cruise Assist to detect movement of the vehicle ahead. If you are stopped for a few seconds, the message will turn off and the vehicle will not accelerate automatically. To reactivate Ready to Drive for a few seconds, pull the lever toward you to the resume position and release. To turn the system off completely, push the lever away from you to the second detent position. The indicator light will go out and the previously set speed will not be stored. Adaptive Cruise Assist also works in conjunction with other driver assistance features. Please see the Owner's Manual for details on these functions. Thank you.